Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, let's check brand new post from Amazon Games regarding closed beta test of Throne and Liberty. You can see here fresh post regarding events, uh, combat, uh, many other interesting information. What is this here? Economy, combat and events, even schedule. This is interesting to check. So let's see what is waiting for us in the upcoming closed beta test. Before we start, let me just say subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. For players who sign up and have been selected, learn about the focus of closed beta and discover key test details in the closed beta test focus section. We'll find out obviously here on what they will focus during this global beta test. Actually, this will be interesting to check because depending on this, maybe we can conclude, will we see in the future some kind of open beta test after this closed beta test or maybe Amazon Games publisher of this game for global version of the game and NCSoft, developers of this game, they will maybe move directly into release of the game after this closed beta test. In my opinion, that would be a logical thing to do, to go for full release of the game globally after this closed beta, if everything goes well. Absolutely right. But let's check what we have here. We are working closely with NCSoft to take valuable feedback from playtest to ensure throne and liberty is great experience at launch and are excited to hear from players about their experience we have here some nice picture let's see here closed beta overview the closed beta test will span pc playstation 5 and xbox and start on april 10 running until april 17 we already uh, have get that information from before, right? The closed beta will feature servers in North America, North America West and North America East, Europe, Asia Pacific and South America. This is interesting. So they have covered really a lot of regions, right? They can cover basically everything, right? So North America, North America West and North America East and Europe, Asia Pacific and South America. So logically, you would need to pick server which is closest to your location where you live, right? That is logical, but you don't need to. You can select basically any region, right? Any servers. Selected players will receive their invitation via email beginning on April 2nd and will be provided a code via email on April 4th with further instructions on how to participate. Probably when you're watching this video is already April 3rd. I hope you have get that email notification. If you didn't, don't worry about that. You can check my live streams on Twitch regarding gameplay of Throne and Liberty from Korea. Of course, I will not live stream gameplay of Throne and Liberty closed beta test because NDA will be up. Nevertheless, I am live streaming every evening mandatory on Twitch about 6 p.m. Central European time. I am live streaming gameplay from, from Korea so you can join me on Twitch to see some gameplay and to be updated regarding what is happening in World of Throne and Liberty. This is confidential playtest of Throne and Liberty and your participation in this pre-release test is subject to non-disclosure agreement in section 2.8 of our terms of use. So NDA will be up. Will we see any leaks? It's hard to say, uh, but uh, NDA is up, so don't forget about that. Even if you will participate in this uh, closed beta test, you cannot make any kind of videos, you cannot uh, live stream on Twitch, and of course you cannot share any information on one way I do understand why they have put NDA up. I really do understand because they don't want negative press. They don't want negative because look, even if the game would be perfect, this closed beta test, I mean, right? There will, there will always be some people which will complain. There will always be somebody who will complain, rant, cry, uh, giving negative publicity to this game. Yeah, giving negative press about this game before release and that is not good. So. This decision regarding NDA is absolutely a good way uh, to do this test, uh, a good idea from Amazon Games and NCSoft. You may not disclose in any form content from this playtest, including any information about the game, it features announcement date and a live release plan. Wait a second. So what, there will be some live release plan during this beta test? Close beta test focus. This is the interesting part. Let's check. Player progression and leveling experience. Okay, so this is kind of strange. Why would they focus on that? Because we have already leveled up our characters on servers in Korea. And regarding leveling and player progression, I think that we have pretty much satisfying situation, right? 
So why they will focus on this? I don't know. Because game is already live in Korea for months. Since December 7, 2023, right? So why they will focus on leveling? I don't know. Let's check. The closed beta includes important adjustments to player progression. And we are excited to hear feedback from players on these adjustments. So will they change something uh, from Korean version of the game, right? Regarding leveling? It is possible, right? For the first few days of the test, players will be able to explore Solisium and experience these adjustments. The level cap from the technical test has been removed for players to progress freely into different parts of the game. Towards to the end of the test, we'll provide help to players allowing them to experience all forms of content. This is interesting. So maybe they will buff a leveling process or something so that players can reach faster endgame because some people, if they don't have enough time, uh, seven days for leveling. I mean, you can level up in day or two, honestly, here to maximum level. But maybe if, uh, some people will not be able to do that. They will buff probably those people so that uh, so they can enjoy in full content in endgame. This will allow players to explore an early mid game and also begin participating in endgame content throughout their journey in closed beta. So regarding player progression and leveling experience, is it possible they have changed something? Uh, different, right, from Korean uh, version of the game regarding leveling? It is possible, right? Maybe. Economy. The in-game auction house. Oh, this is a big topic. This is a big topic. And another good reason to have NDA up. Because people will complain about pay to win. Don't get me wrong. We already know that Throne and Liberty is pay to win. We know that. No, no, there is no need to hide that. Nothing strange. You can check on my YouTube channel. I have a few videos where I explain that pay to win in Throne of Liberty does exist. But it's mild pay to win over there on servers in Korea. Now, will developers of this game, NCSoft, and publisher of this game for global version of the game, uh, Amazon Games, will they change something regarding auction house and pay to win in general? It is possible. Maybe that's also another reason for NDA, right? It could be. The in-game auction house and store will also be enabled in this test, obviously. Allowing players to list and purchase listed items, interact with the economy, and test certain store items. All players will be granted with Lucent, a premium in-game currency with initial deposit and periodic refreshes to try out these systems and provide feedback. Interesting. All Lucent and in-game purchases will expire at the end of the test. That's kind of normal. Of course, there will be wipe. This progress will not be saved for a global release of the game, right? So economy. Yeah, I do understand. Of course, they will focus on that. Combat and events. The closed beta test also feature improvements to combat. I mean improvements to combat on which way? We have already seen they have improved combat on servers in Korea. Are they talking about that? Because I don't see... Uh, I mean, there is always possibility they can improve something further for global version of the game, right? But I doubt. But let's see, right? Throughout the closed beta, we have planned a calendar of events to run, allowing players to experience different types of combat and activities. Prime time events will occur at the time listed below at each region's local server time. Let's check events. Here we have uh, combat right in the game. Even schedule. Okay, so we have events from April 10 all the way up to April 17, uh, first day of the test, then up to the last day of the test. April 10, test opens, no scheduled event. Players should begin exploring Solisium, which is logical. First day, first 24 hours, absolutely you need to focus on leveling. April 11, field boss Morokai at 7 o'clock. Okay. April 12, King Excavator 9 Reefstone, 8 o'clock. April 13, Arcboss, Archboss, Arcboss, however you want to pronounce this. Tevent, Peace, Peaceful One. Okay, 7 o'clock. April 14, oh, look at this. This is interesting. Already on April 14, Castle Siege. Interesting. They want to test massive content. And also, castle sieges on servers in Korea, don't forget about that. They were added to the game later, not for release of the game. We have seen, I think, first the castle siege more than a month after release of the game in Korea. That means that we will not get update, same starting update, like we had on servers in Korea. 
this update, whatever we are going to play, already have Castle Siege. It's a later update. Amazing, amazing. April 15, tax delivery. Oh, another big deal. This is very important because, look, tax delivery was implemented in the game even later than Castle Sieges in Korea. Tax delivery was implemented into the game maybe one month ago in Korea. I can't remember exactly when, but not so long time ago. So that means that we are getting some fresh update from Korea. Beautiful, beautiful. April 16, another siege. You know what I think, guys. They are going, they are going to do stress test because Castle Siege is massive PvP content. We have seen on servers in Korea 2,000 people, even more, participating in these kind of sieges. So, stress test. Stress test also. So that could mean that we will not have open beta. Seriously, this test, this so far, is already looking like final test. This is definitely looking like final test. I mean, if they will test this, castle sieges twice, tax delivery, arc bosses, field bosses in this test, right? Let's say close beta. What they will test in open beta? There is nothing to test anymore. This is it, right? Let's see. April 17, closing ceremony one hour before server shutdown. Wait, closing ceremony. Hmm, interesting. Something maybe to use uh, for promotion material that uh, they can use, right? We have NDA, but Amazon Games don't have NDA. They can use this closing ceremony after closed beta test to do marketing and promotion of the game before global release. Logical. Guys, this is looking like final test. Wait, let's check further information. Feedback, a player selected to participate in closed beta test they will be invited to a uh, closed and confidential Discord server. Oh, this is interesting. So another Discord server to provide feedback on their experience in Solisium. We hope you enjoy playing and appreciate your feedback. Uh, you have additional questions, please find out, uh, find out closed beta, frequently asked questions here. I think we have already seen, I will click here. I guess, yeah, we have already seen this. Yeah, we have already seen these uh, frequently asked questions. Uh, this is nothing new. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking, this is looking like final, final test. Yeah, I don't think that we will have open beta because look at these two sieges, not one, two sieges, tanks delivery. Let's say relatively new in-game features, even in Korea. Siege, we have more than like two months. Tanks delivery, maybe more than a month. Why would they even put open beta if they will uh, test this already, right? During closed beta. And you can see here the schedule. This is looking really promising. So, wow. I wanted to share with you this evening uh, this brand new information from Amazon Games regarding incoming uh, closed beta test. I hope uh, you have get invitation uh, into this uh, beta test. If you didn't, don't worry. I'm certain that after this closed beta test, you will not wait for a long time. We will get global release of this game very soon. They cannot wait too long time. They cannot. There are many new upcoming, not only MMORPGs, big games coming in second half of this year. Amazon games, they need to hurry up. NCSoft and Amazon games, they need to hurry up with global release. That means May, June, maybe July. July is already too late because of many reasons. Elden Ring DLC, Final Fantasy XIV, new expansion, many other games incoming. So I think they will hurry up and release this game during June. Probably June. End of May, maybe, or June. But uh, yeah, for this evening, now you know everything what uh, currently we have, official information from Amazon Games regarding closed beta test. If you are watching my live stream, let's go for a live stream. If you are watching this video on my YouTube channel, thank you for watching the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Twitch to see more of Throne and Liberty videos in the future. I'm live streaming every evening about 6 p.m. Central European time, so join me to see some gameplay and to find out what is happening in MMORPG and PC gaming world. See you soon.